Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex here, and today we're back for more F1 2013 news. Now, obviously, we saw a new trailer yesterday, a pretty cool trailer, but it didn't really tell us anything. Just a cool trailer to announce some classic drivers, and uh, we pretty much knew all the drivers anyway, so that was alright. But anyway, I've got some super important news for you today, because I think this is the news that everybody has been waiting for. Most likely the most important news for you guys to hear. And here it is. Stephen Hood got a tweet yesterday asking whether the online experience would be enhanced and improved he replies saying yes the penalty system is no longer super annoying so I think that's a big thing that the game developers do realize that the, the penalty system was quite annoying in F1 2012 I think it was especially online we had quite a lot of problems with sort of undeserved penalties and the fact now that they've looked into this penalty system and made it even better is a great thing I mean, I think personally the penalty system made, sort of took a little bit of a dip in F1 2012. I think it was better in 2010 and 2011, but it is great to see that they've sort of looked into it. They've thought this is one of the big things that people want is a better penalty system. And the fact that we're getting it is a really good thing. And uh, I really can't wait to see the, the penalty system in action this year because obviously each and every year the penalty system's a little bit different. 2012's wasn't that great. I think we could all be be very honest about that it wasn't too good even if you are a massive fan of the game like myself and uh, yeah so that will be coming implemented into this game on 4th of October hopefully everybody is going to get their hands on it I mean personally a couple of days ago I finally had enough money to pre-order it um, I'm not sure I might be able to get it on PS3 just depending on money uh, but I'm definitely getting it on PC and Xbox as it comes out and uh, I'm not sure about the PC whether I'm going to be able to get a classic edition depends whether that's on Steam or not we'll definitely see about that but super looking forward to uh, playing this game now not that far away only just over one and a half months or pretty much one and a half months now until the game is released and uh, what I would like to know guys as there isn't really much more to talk about in this video I'd like to know in the comment section of this video what console are you getting F1 2013 on so uh, I'm not sure it's being released on Wii U I don't think it is so out of PS3 PC and Xbox 360 which of the consoles are you going to be getting this game on so it's going to be interesting for me to see which one of the systems has the most sales and obviously I will be getting on the Xbox first and probably the PC on release date just depends as with anything nowadays about how much it's going to cost on the PC. I've already pre-ordered it, I pre-ordered it a couple of days ago just because I finally had enough money to do so on the Xbox 360. I got the Classic Edition so that should be all good, hopefully get as much content on the Classic and new stuff as possible. Um, it's looking unlikely I'm going to be able to do it classically, sadly, due to what uh, has been sort of released over the last couple of weeks. I don't think really anybody's going to be able to do a classic league from what I've been able to see but who knows I'll, when I finally get to play the game for myself the full game I'll be able to see for what you know for you guys what we'll be able to do but if I can sort out a classic league I will but overall guys I'm super excited for this game so be sure to leave your comments down below at which console you'll be getting this game on and yeah that's pretty much it for the F1 news and talk for this video but before I end this video I would just sort of like to plug my second channel just for a quick second here guys because over this sort of next month going it's starting in September I should say I'm going to be starting up a lot of sort of mini let's plays and I'm looking forward to playing extra games immensely and obviously by that time all of my leagues will pretty much be done so I can be sort of focused on playing some different games so over there on my second channel Alex Zephyr Central which I'll link down in the description I'll be doing a lot of let's plays on some various different games so if you want to go over there and subscribe that would be really awesome and I'd be very thankful of that. I mean, obviously, I'm very thankful we hit 9,000 subscribers on this channel over the last couple of days. But the start of some new Let's Plays of my second channel, which will mean that channel becomes a lot more active. So be, be sure to go over there and check it out. It should be quite interesting. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it. And hopefully you'll enjoy the news for F1 2013. So that's been Alex, and I'm out of here. Goodbye.